Doesn't this pterodactyl also remind you of an evil witch from a movie? And now it's time to make the T-Rex one of the scariest dinosaurs to ever live. Now let's play with this blue sand. I'll put the fossil bones in here. It's time to dig! We did it! We found the bones of a pterodactyl. We're gonna be famous archaeologists. Jackpot! We even found a T-Rex. It looks like our names are gonna go in the history books. Let's have some more fun with this set. Ooh, it looks like this T-Rex was frozen over time. Let's dig at it to find the bones. Awesome! The bones didn't break. Now let's play with the pterodactyl. I always thought archaeology was really cool. Give this video a thumbs up if you think the same. Well, this was a lot of fun. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to watch more. See you soon. Also, if you haven't done so already, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. The links are in the description box below. Hey everyone! Awesome Disney Toys here, and today we're bringing you Kinetic Sand Doggy Daycare Club K9. We'll be making our very own cute doggies today, and then we'll take them out to the park to have some fun. I'm pretty amazed at all the cool things you could do with Kinetic Sand. The previous video was ice cream, and now it's doggy daycares. Here are the instructions. I'm super excited because this playset actually comes with two colors. We get purple and green. Let's check out the mold. Alright, let's see here. It looks like we can make a dog sitting on its hind legs. How cute! We can even make a dog lying on its belly. And this dog's supposed to be on its back with all of its legs in the air. And we can use this to make the dog food. 
here's a closer look at the doggy daycare. Of course they would have a fire hydrant. Dogs love those. I'll pour in the purple kinetic sand first. And I'll also pour in the green kinetic sand. If you guys have watched any previous videos, you know I like to play with the sand before we get going. So if it's your first time watching a kinetic sand video, let me give you some pretty interesting facts. First things first, it's very easy to mold and shape. Your hands don't get dirty, and it's super easy to clean up. Oh, and this is the coolest part. When you lift kinetic sand up in the air, it just dissolves and crumples. That's pretty awesome, right? I can't get enough of that. Time to make our first doggy. Hmm, what should we name this one? I'll name this dog Allie. Hey Allie! Oh, going back to what I said earlier, if you see right now, the kinetic sand is nice and compact, but when you lift it up in the air, it easily dissolves. Let's move on to our second dog. I think I'll name this one Archie. Hey Archie! Oh, whoops! I didn't mean to cut off his head. Sorry about that. Let's move on to our third dog. This is the one that lies on its belly. I'll name this one... Arnie. Isn't he cute? Hey Arnie! The dogs might get hungry, so let's make some dog food. I'll use the green and purple kinetic sand. Alright, and we just put the cap on and squeeze down. There we go! And if you twist it while you press down, it'll cut the food into bite-sized pieces. Here's the all-natural kinetic sand dog food. Yummy! I promised the dogs I'd take them out to the park, so I'll use the green kinetic sand to make nice fluffy patches of grass for them. Let me create all the doggies again. Here's Ali. This is Archie. And Arnie will go right here. Aw, oh, look at them! It's a bright, beautiful day and they're soaking in the sun. These three are loving every second of life right now. Oh, I heard their stomachs growling. I'll put some food right there for you guys. The Kinetic Sand Doggy Daycare was so much fun today. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to watch more. See you soon. Hey everyone! 
Awesome Disney Toys here, and today we're bringing you Kinetic Sand Float, Paradise Island. If you guys thought Kinetic Sand couldn't get any better, well it just did. I can't wait to see how this works. Here are the instructions. This is our Paradise Island. The molds, and three kinetic sand floats. We even get this water tray. Here's a seal mold. One, uh, some Disney toys here. And today, I'm super excited to bring you Kinetic Sand Bakery Boutique. I can't wait to make a cake. Here's the back of the box. All right, let's get started. First, we have some cupcake plates, some pink sand, blue sand, a bag of molds, some accessories for our boutique, a foldable table, the instructions, and the box is going to serve as our actual boutique. There's a few pieces we need to add to our boutique, like the sign. It goes up top like this. And here's our first shelf. We just bend it wherever there's a crease and slip it in here. Here's our second shelf. And now to build our table. Again, we just fold it wherever there's a crease and then we'll tuck in the end here. And the top closes just like a normal box. Now that our boutique's all set up, we can start making our cakes. Let's take a closer look at our molds. Here we have an extruder, a cake stand, A cupcake mold, a mold for some of our toppings, a smaller cake mold, another extruder, this one's a heart shape, and here's our bigger cake mold. The top also has a mold for a diamond. Now let's check out some of our kinetic sands. We'll start with the blue one. We're gonna need to work the sand a little bit so it gets softer. Now we'll do the pink sand. Look at it go! I love playing with kinetic sand because it's really easy to mold and easy to clean up. This set only came with two colors, but we can mix the pink and the blue to make a new color. Do you guys know what color this is going to turn into? It's starting to blend together. We just made purple. Now we have three colors to play with. I think we should start with making a cupcake. I'll make the bottom blue.
the middle pink. And the top purple. And now we just close our book mold and squeeze it tight. Nice! It turned out great! You might be wondering what the purple part is. Well, it's actually going to be our frosting once we give it a little twist. Here's our three colored cupcake. Now let's make a layer cake. We'll start off with some purple and then blue. And some pink. And we'll end with some more purple. And ta-da! Here's our first layer cake. Let's make another one. This one's gonna be a little bit smaller. We'll start with pink, and then purple, and some blue, and a little bit more pink. Ooh, look at all those layers! Looks pretty tasty! And now we'll fill our topping mold. Awesome! Those turned out great! Now let's try the extruder. All we do is fill it with some kinetic sand. And then push. One perfectly made circle. Instead of using one color, I'm going to use two colors this time. This extruder is shaped like a heart. We'll fill it with some pink sand. And then push. It kind of looks like one of those Valentine heart candies. We'll make another one, except this time we'll go with purple. Let's also try out this diamond mold. And here we have a blue diamond. All right, everyone, I think it's time to decorate. We'll add a cherry on top of here, and then a heart in the middle. For our layer cake, we'll also add a heart. Hmm, and what else? We'll go with a purple heart. And maybe we'll put the rose here. Now we'll decorate the top layer. I'm thinking some strawberries. And we can't forget about the candle. This would be an awesome birthday cake. If any of you have birthdays today, happy birthday. Here's your cake, make a wish. Here's everything we made today. Well, this was a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to see more. Thanks!
Also, if you haven't done so already, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. The links are in the description box below. Hey everyone, Awesome Dizzy Toys here, and today we're bringing you Kinetic Sand Dino Dig Fossils Dino. With this set, we could be our own archaeologists and find really cool dinosaur fossils right from our home. The back of the box shows everything that comes with this playset. Let's open it up! We get two kinetic sands, blue and orange. Here are the instructions. We get a pterodactyl and T-Rex fossil. We can make a T-Rex mold. And a pterodactyl mold. We'll need this digger to find the fossils. And here's our very own excavation site. This is where we'll be doing all our digging. Hopefully we can find some good fossils today. If you guys have watched the Kinetic Sand video before, I'm sure you're familiar with this already. I love how the sand's not messy, and it's always cool to see the sand move on its own. I'll start by making a pterodactyl. A turtle mold. A dolphin mold. And a wrath mold. Let's first set up our paradise island so that our sea animals can have some fun. I don't know why, but I feel like you would see something like this at SeaWorld. Oh, can't forget the water. That's important. Now that our Paradise Island is set, we need some sea animals to live in it. Let's check out this green kinetic sand float. It kind of looks like taffy. It's definitely a lot stickier than the regular kinetic sand, and it kind of has a funky smell. With this green one, I'll make a turtle.
I will say, the molds are a little harder to make with this kinetic sand. Woo! Here's our turtle. I'll name him Shells. Alright Shells, let's see you float in this water. Whoa, this is so cool! Who would have ever thought sand would float? Oh, he wants to go up here and play. Whee! Shells is not a very good swimmer. He keeps bumping into walls. Here's how the purple kinetic sand float looks like. Just like the regular kinetic sand, this one doesn't dry out either. I'll make a purple seal. I'll name her Celine. <laughs> Get it? Shells has a new friend now. I think they're shy. Oh, she just tail whipped him. They're best friends now. Now let's use this orange kinetic sand float. I'll make a dolphin. Say hello to Finn. Finn's excited to see his new friends. Don't worry Finn, they won't bite. Look at the three of them get along. These kinetic sand floats are super cool. Well this was a lot of fun. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to watch more. See you soon. Also, if you haven't done so already, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. The links are in the description box below. Hey everyone, Awesome Disney Toys here, and today we're bringing you Kinetic Sand Ice Cream Treats. Ice cream? You scream? We all scream for ice cream! Woohoo! I know, I know. You're probably thinking, sand is not ice cream, but this is where we use our imagination. Let's see what's inside. Here's 
here's our wonderful pink kinetic sand. I can't wait to play with this. Here are the instructions. And we have some ice cream tools. We get an ice cream scooper, a spoon, a straw, a mold to make an ice cream swirl, a pink sundae cup, and a blue ice cream cone. And the bottom of the box also acts as a playset. It's our own little ice cream parlor. Before we make some delicious ice cream, let's play around with this kinetic sand. I know I've played with kinetic sand before, but I can't believe it feels just like the sand on the beach. This is so cool! Watch what happens when you lift up the kinetic sand! The way it dissolves is so mesmerizing! I could just do this for hours! Alright, I promise! One more time and I'll make some ice cream! Whoa! Look at that! It's too awesome! Time for the sweet stuff! I'll make some ice cream with this cone! We're halfway there! Now I gotta make an ice cream swirl. Do you guys want to know an interesting fact about kinetic sand? It never dries out. I know it's just kinetic sand, but it looks really delicious. Now I'll put some ice cream in this sundae cup. This ice cream scooper will come in handy. One scoop. Hmm, you know what? I'm feeling for a double scoop today. Thumbs up if you agree. Hey everyone, uh, some Disney toys here. And today I'm super excited to bring you Kinetic Foam. We can make all sorts of things with this. Look at that robot. Oh, and that puppy. Okay, let's open the box and get started. We have purple, blue, and orange. We'll start with the orange. It's pretty cool that it's in a question mark container, because you never know what you're going to make. The possibilities are endless. 
Wow, it's a lot more moist than I thought it'd be. It's pretty sticky. It's a little hard to get out of this container. Look at how stretchy it is. This is super cool. Now let's check out this blue one. It kind of feels slimy. Like a mixture of slime and play foam. Whoa! Super stretchy! Time to open our purple one! This kinetic foam definitely has an interesting smell. Kind of like glue, I would say. It's really easy to mold, and it sticks together really well. I can't wait to make something. What do you guys think I should make? And what would you guys make? Let me know in the comments. Hmm. I'm going to make a dinosaur. Specifically, a Brachiosaurus. This type of dinosaur has a really long neck and a small head. It's one of the largest dinosaurs there is. And they're also herbivores, meaning they don't eat meat, only plants. I guess you can call them a vegetarian too. They also have a really long tail. Unfortunately, like all the other dinosaurs, they're extinct now but we can recreate them with kinetic foam. And here's our dinosaur. He's got a long neck and a long tail, just like the Brachiosaurus. Let's make another dinosaur. This time let's make a Stegosaurus. Let me know in the comments what type of dinosaur is your favorite. This type of dinosaur has a really round back and short limbs. It's kind of lizard-like, and it walks really close to the ground. Like the Brachiosaurus, it's also a herbivore, so it doesn't eat any meat. This dinosaur also has spikes on its back, which is probably used for protection. I'm gonna make the spikes with some orange kinetic foam. We just form it into little triangles and stick it on his back. I'm also gonna make spikes with some blue kinetic foam and we'll alternate the colors in between. And here's our dinosaur. Give this video a thumbs up if you love dinosaurs. Well, this set was so much fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to see more. Thanks. Also, if you haven't done so already, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. The links are in the description box below. Hey everyone! Awesome Dizzy Toys here, and today we're bringing you some more ice cream surprise cups. But this time, the ice cream's made out of kinetic foam instead of play foam. So here's our first ice cream cup, which is an orange flavor. Do you guys notice a difference right off the bat? Well, if you don't, let me bring back a play foam 
Here's the green one. I'm sure you guys are pretty familiar with this. Alright, I think we checked out this play foam enough. Let's go back to our kinetic ice cream foam. Compared to the play foam, these kinetic foams have a lot more white dots, so it's not a complete orange color. Let's check it out. Oh, it's cold! And it's a lot heavier than the play foam. Alright, let's dig. Oh, not very stretchy. Just pretty tough. There's our pink egg. Okay, so let me try demonstrate here. You kind of have to use a little more force to rip this apart. And just a heads up, it leaves a pretty sharp smell on your hands. I think it's coming from the glue on this kinetic foam. But it's still pretty cool. Let's go back to our pink egg. Aw, hey there. What's up, little guy? What's that? Oh, you're playing hide and go seek on Easter and hidden this egg? Until now? Impressive. Boom! We got a surprise! It's Plants vs. Zombies Series 2! Let's see who it is, let's see who it is! Here are all the characters we can collect, and if we open it up, I think it, yep, it tells us who we got, but we gotta assemble it, so let's attach his body to his legs. He's got a blue suit on. Here are his arms. And let's attach the zombie head. Everyone, this is Prosecutor Zombie. Uh, uh. Okay, okay, we get it. You're not gonna help us. Mmm, what's this delicious treat? Here's our blueberry ice cream cup. Yum! Woo! These ice creams are ice cold. Let's dig through it. And since they're more frozen, it's a little harder to dig through. Woof! We found an orange egg. Oh, the world's greatest rally car! Coming in at the top speed of 124.3 miles per hour. 0 to 60 in 3.5 seconds. 300 horsepower all-wheel drive. He's from Alsace, France. Raoul Saroul! Bonjour, bonjour. I'm your biggest fan, Raul. Merci. Surprise! It's Kitty in my pocket. I wonder what cute Kitty will find. And it is... <gasps> this is bad luck. I mean, this Kitty is cute, though. And it did bring us a jack-o'-lantern. <laughs> you know, in the US and several other countries, a black cat is considered bad luck. But... In Britain and Japan, it's actually considered good luck. So, is it good luck or bad luck? We'll never know. No! It's our last ice cream cup! Here's our grape flavor. Oh, this one's cold too! Can't wait to see what's inside this. Hurry, let's melt it! Dig through the ice cream. And we found a green egg! Let's see who's hiding in here. Well, hello there. It's a character from Lala Loopsy. Everyone, I'd like you to meet Pillow Featherbed. She is the sleepiest resident of Lala Loopsy Land. Oh my, I think she fell asleep. Yes! We got a My Little Pony blind bag. Can't wait to see who's joining us today. And it is... Oh, this is a first? We got Golden Delicious. It's a male My Little Pony. Hey, what's up, Golden Delicious? Hey, dude. You want to be my friend? Uh, yeah, sure. Awesome. High five. We are friends now. Wow, he really does make friends everywhere. Well, this was a lot of fun. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to watch more. See you soon. Also, if you haven't done so already, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. The links are in the description box below.